New Super Mario Bros. U. It is the fourth entry in the New Super Mario Bros. series. It is a sequel to New Super Mario Bros. Wii in 2009 and a follow-up to New Super Mario Bros. 2 in 2012. As part of the Year of Luigi campaign and a downloadable expansion to the game, New Super Luigi U was released in June 2013. A standalone retail version was released the following month, and later copies of the base game included the expansion on disc. This is the first Mario game to be released in high-definition graphics. New Super Mario Bros. U iterates on the gameplay featured in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. With additional features, the objective of each level is to reach the goal flag at the end of each level, while avoiding enemies and hazards. The game can be controlled either using Wii U Pro controllers, Wii remotes, or off TV play using the Wii U gamepad, where the game can be played solely on the gamepad screen. Four players each using a controller play as a different character, being Mario, Luigi, Yellow Toad, and Blue Toad. In the Boost Mode feature, a fifth player using the Wii U gamepad can interact with the environment, such as putting blocks down that can be stepped on or stunning enemies by holding down on them. Certain game modes also allow players to play their own custom characters. Bowser, the Koopalings, Kamek, Boom Boom, and Bowser Jr. appear as the game's main villains. Nabbit is a new antagonist who is chased after stealing an item from Toad. Once Nabbit is caught, Toad rewards the item to the player. Along with returning elements such as Ice Flowers and Yoshi, the Flying Squirrel is new a power-up that allows players to glide across long distances or slowly descend down vertical paths and cling to the side of the walls. Additionally, Baby Yoshi are an item can be carried by a player, with each Baby Yoshi having a special ability dependent on its color, such as inflating in mid-air or eliminating dark areas. Some older power-ups also have new abilities, such as the Mini Mushroom, now allowing players to run up walls. New Super Mario Bros. U features one large map containing all the game's worlds and levels, similar to that of Super Mario World. Some levels have multiple exits that lead to the different areas on the map. The game features two new modes of play, Challenge Mode and Boost Rush. Challenge Mode adds restrictions and conditions, such as clearing levels with a short timer. Boost Rush takes place on an automatically scrolling level which increases in speed as players collect coins, with the goal of clearing the stage as quickly as possible. And a coin battle for new Super Mario Bros. The game also returns, with the player now being able to customize the battles with the gamepad to place the coins and star coins on the course. The Super Guy, which takes control of the player's character and moves it automatically through a level, is available in case the player has failed a level multiple consecutive times. The game originally utilized the now-defunct Myverse, which allowed players to share comments about particular levels with one another. The final battle, or Peach's Castle 2, is the final course of Peach's Castle in New Super Mario Bros. U, and features the final boss of the game, Super Bowser, with Bowser Jr. in his Jr. Clown car. The course is unlocked via completion of Red Hot Elevator Ride, and completing this course unlocks the portal to Superstar Road in Secret Island. This level cannot be completed with Super Guide. This is the only level in the game that shares the same name with its new Super Luigi U counterpart. The first part of the course is a short section of lava and Honyuka. Bowser Jr. chases the player in his Jr. Clown car, periodically attempting to drop on their head, and also may try to push the Mario Bros. and Toads into the lava below if they get too close. The player can dodge the attack by moving out of the way as Bowser Jr. drops, but he destroys any brick blocks he hits on the way down. The player cannot harm Bowser Jr. In this section, due to a glass dome over the cockpit of his Jr. Clown car, so they must simply avoid his attacks as they work their way through the course. Throughout the area, lava bubbles are found between platforms, and bony beetles can be found on some platforms. A warp door is found at the end of the area, leading to the second area of the level. To the right of the door are two hidden blocks. The one on the top contains a 1-up. Thank you for watching. Did you love my video? Well if you want more subscribe to my channel. You know you want to. Plus it helps me to beat the YouTube algorithm. And I can reach a wide variety of audience just by you liking and subscribing. Oh yeah. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Please share my videos with all your friends. See you next time.